Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to A Drive for Survival. And in case you didn't watch the last episode, to the very, very end, there was a bit of a treat. I did show the dog tags that I got for killing humanoids. I think they were worth about 20, 20 zombie bucks each, something like that. Um, and then I came up here, and I and I saw this guy, and I his um he sells the bullets for twelve per one round. So buying bullets is not really the way I want to go. Um, which is kind of a bummer. All right, let's hold this to travel, and because of the quest, we have to go back to our home outpost. And I, this, this helicopter is really loud, and I want to turn down the game sound, but all the other game sound is pretty good. Um, I've recorded episode one and two back to back, so if you guys gave me any tips on episode one, you know, uh, just know that I haven't seen them yet. Oh, here we go. Thanks to the functional helipad, new survivors are slowly coming. Traders arrive first. Some traders, however, will trade with you only after increasing your reputation. Your car has finally been transported to your new home. Unfortunately, it's damaged and needs repairs. Fortunately, uh, you have taken into this in, taken this into account. And I blah blah blah. Garbage for your car can be <laughs> garages for your car can be found in different parts of the world. All your all your cars will be stored here. All your car multiple cars. Oh my god, this is crazy. This is freaking crazy. All right, so let's go. To oh man, this game. Oh boy, I'm starting to get hyped, man. All right, so we need some wood and some scrap metal. Uh, let's come up here and take a look at what's going on up here. Um, enter the vehicle, damage 100%, uh, car, muscle, off-road. Yep, 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 it's broken. Oh, is it broken? I don't know. I guess it is. It's not doing anything. I figured it would. Well, you can tell it's broken because your quest is to repair your car. Okay. Oh, I see my money on the bottom left-hand side now. 200 bucks. Okay. Oh, my God. Look at all these guys. What is this? Raw resource. Oh, I can store raw resources now. Uh, this is... Oh, no. I could buy them. Raw resources. Store, not storage. Okay. All right. So, I could buy raw resources. That's um, 100 per one piece. Wow. Okay. That, that's... That is expensive. Uh, what are you? Farm? Oh my god, look at this freaking game! Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. The survive store. Okay. Uh, you got ammo. I know what you have. The home outpost friendly store. Oh, look, I can buy zip ties now. The home outpost friendly store. It said something like I have to build up reputation to them, but I think I can buy from them. Uh, where's my reputation thing? I know I've seen it. Here we go. Here we go. The home... Uh, oh, how do I get reputation? God, this game's freaking deep as hell. This game's deep as hell. Wow, Snow Adventures? Oh, man. Oh, man. What are you? Neutral. Okay. Interesting. And you just have all the regular stuff you had before, right? Yep. Anybody up there? Let's just go double check. It's getting late gonna go, to go home and sleep oh what what is this honored does that mean i'm honored with them or does that mean i have to get honored to buy from them i really don't want to waste well let's here let's do this yep there we go i can't buy from, i don't think i could buy from any of these people is there anything that t it all right honored revered oh god this is reminding me of freaking this is reminding me of like uh world of warcraft um, exalted. Yeah, that's World of Warcraft language right there, man. Alright, so I wasn't looking at what I could... Okay, so that's... Just, I could buy from her. I can buy from him. I'm assuming I could buy from him. Friendly, I'm unfriendly. So I can't buy from either of these two. That's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, uh, let me go home and sleep so we can see what we're doing here. Alright, it's bright and early in the morning. I'm going to go ahead and repair this thing. So now I have um, some drawers over here. And I have an oven. All right, this is my crafting table. I'm too low to craft anything now. I do have crafting points I can spend on this stuff, but I'm too low for it. And look at that, my um, my my campfire stayed here. I thought that's supposed to disappear. Also, when I when I logged off the game and came back, this stuff did not respawn like it did, you know, when I was doing my test games. So, all right, cool. Let's uh, let's go see what we need. I don't think I can get any scrap metal here and stuff, so I think I'm gonna have to actually uh go to the forest zone or whatever it's called again and just, you know, 
uh, get some scrap and everything. I do have what I need to re to build my vehicle, but I think I don't think you can go to the new zone if I don't have like garages. I really don't know. I don't know anything. Um, so yeah, we need some wood and some scrap metal. Wood won't be a wait. What kind of wood. Yeah, wood won't be a problem. But I can, let's just do this. The hell with it. Okay, car is repaired. Refill the car. Okay, so I don't have any um gas for it because I didn't pick up any of those jerry cans. So that is a fine with me. Is it, can I? Yeah, this is just all building stuff. All right, let's go to the far zone and let's uh, let's get some materials. So I wonder how I'm gonna bring my car with me. I'm thinking once I build the garage, you know, at my main base, then maybe there'll be one here or something. Because if I can't bring the car with me, it's not really. I, I'm almost positive I could bring the car with me, like 99% positive. It even said like you can drive in this zone. I'm just not sure exactly how my car gets here. Um, I am going to check the hotel again because I'm wondering if stuff respawned. But I'm pretty sure the enemies respawned. Uh, also, I did have a jerry can on me apparently. So, but whatever. I had to come back here to get other stuff anyway. So, all right. The arrows definitely respawned. I don't know if that respawned. I might have left that in there. Don't know. Okay, so let's look around here. We'll come in here. See what's what. So this will let me break in. Yeah, stuff's respawning. Cool. That makes me very happy. Oh, that didn't respawn. Hmm. Uh, bear. It's a bear. I can hardly bear it. You know, I don't think I ever went in these places down here. Dude, even in my test game, I didn't come in these places down here. What the hell was I thinking? Uh, take. What does that say? Press? It doesn't look like a. It doesn't look like press. He looks like military. That's like a. That looks like a bulletproof vest with like a pouches and holding ammo. It's kind of weird. It says press. Okay. Can't believe I didn't look down here. Um, more crowbars. More food. Nothing in there. Nothing there. Nothing there. That bear is going ham. I don't know what he's doing, but... Okay, more food. You know what? I could use some food. There we go. That's a hell of a hat, dude. That is a hell of a hat, vest, pants to do. Man, that is bold. That is bold. Okay, not seeing anything in here. Wow. Oh, nothing in here at all, huh? I think that bear is fighting wolves or something. Alright, we got another bear here. Here we go. I feel like this thing does hit better when I'm aiming. That didn't look like it hit him at all. I feel like a rifle blast at this range <laughs> would kill these guys so freaking bad. It would kill them real bad. Okay, yeah. I don't know if stuff respawned or not. Maybe I didn't take stuff before. Yeah, so the, it looks like the it looks like the hoods are respawning, but not the trunks. Or uh, maybe I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't know. I don't freaking know. Um, I can't really do anything with any of this stuff. But I am going to need more room. I really, don't need, I really don't need more room for what I'm taking here. Because the, this this stuff just goes where I need it to go. Um, I think I might actually have enough by now, but let's let's keep looking around. Yeah, the arrows are definitely respawning, which is going to be good. I, oh, the gun respawned. I could sell that. Hell yeah, I can. It's weird, guys. Some stuff's respawning, some is not. I don't know. It's almost like it's almost like the zone I'm in stuff will respawn, but nothing else does. Like when I like when I log out and I'm in a zone. It looks like like everything would respawn in that zone, but not the zone I go to after that. It's very odd. All right, this stuff stack. You stack. A lot of tomato soup. All right, I don't need it. Let's get this thing done. All right. What you got for me, brah? Okay. Probably gonna have to make some more crowbars too. See, I hate it when I use a crowbar and it's empty. If that stuff's not gonna be in there, it should like still be unlocked, right? What the hell? Your backpack is full. Take take what? Bottle. What bottle? <laughs> what are you talking about? That's not a bottle. It's a trunk. <laughs> oh boy. 
All right, I, I kind of want to take that. Um, all right, you know what we'll do? We'll just leave that there. We'll take that, and I'm good on food for now. I think I'm going to go back, though, because I, I don't like coming through here. I don't like coming through here. Yeah, 21's enough. I don't like coming through here when I'm full on loot. So let's get back to let's get back to base and let's go ahead and make that garage, man. I can't freaking wait. Went ahead and sold that pistol. I also sold the axe. I, I really don't care that much about it. And uh, now I'm rocking 628 bucks. So here's a question: How do I build? How do I build reputation? Take him to your hands. Uh, open the backpack. Take him to wait. You got a canister of gas. Okay, so they gave me the ca the canister of gas. So I didn't need to go for it, but that's okay. I'm glad I did because now I can now I can uh, now I have the resources to build this and pour the gasoline into the tank. If you have a full backpack, uh, you can find the canister in the post office. Okay, um, equipped. All right, and refill. Cool. It only holds 33%, but you press E to put it back in your inventory, by the way. Alright, so we'll do this. Oops. And then we'll do this. Alright, gotta fill about half up. It's weird. I, I press... Yeah, I'm supposed to press E. I'm pressing left mouse button. That's why it's throwing it. Okay, and now we need some wood. So let's go grab some wood. Alright, chop down two trees. And got I, what I think is going to be enough wood. There we go. Build! Boom! There we go. We got a safe in here. Love it. Or bank. And... Oh! Oh! Wait, what the hell is that? Expanding the garage. Oh my god! Look at the freaking garage! Oh, what is this? Rotten gas line... Uh, gas line barrel? Hold to build. Okay. Another bank. We got a radio. We got a bed. You can sleep on the bed. Um, pick up. Oh, here we go. Why are you shooting basketball with a soccer ball, though? That's weird. You know, dude, you know it's the apocalypse when you have to use a soccer ball as your basketball. Um, can you hold down the button? All right, see, so it doesn't seem like you could. You can choose how hard to shoot it, so... Oh, hold on, I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this. I wonder if this is possible. It must be. You son of a bitch. I was robbed. I was robbed. I'm going to go yell at the dev after this. <laughs> What's with your rigged basketball game, bro? Ugh. All right, guys. I got a question for you. We're going to do two graphical settings. You're going to let me know in the comments which one you think looks better. Okay. We're going to do this one. This is graphic settings number one. If you think this one ends up looking better, type in the comments graphic settings number one. Okay, now this is graphic settings number two. If you think this looks better, type graphic settings number two. I think they look just about the same, except graphic settings number two gets rid of all that fog. I'm going to play with it off for now. I think, honestly, I think the game looks much better this way. You know, and we'll, we'll see. Um, I'm interested to see what you guys have to say. All right, so I actually sunk this shot off camera. Where'd the ball go? Did I store the ball somewhere? I didn't store the ball somewhere. Where'd it go? Oh, man. I wanted to sync it for you guys on camera. I actually did it. And when you do it, a little star pops up. All right. So I was looking at the car. And it says the engine. I can't do anything with the engine yet. Um, but you can store stuff in the back, which is cool. All right. So let's go ahead and get in this thing. There we go. Your weapons. Wait. What was that say about weapons? What did that say about weapons? Um... It's time to leave the warm climate and set out for danger. Use the helipad to travel. Tip, keep unnecessary items in the bank, for example. Go to the old world zone. Okay. Um, there we go. Look at this bad boy. Hell yeah, it drives with WASD. Okay. Nice. Alright. Let's, uh, let's go to the old world zone. Yeah, there we go. Firearms are not 100% accurate. See, better accuracy can be achieved by aiming or crouching. There you go. I thought aiming was, was giving me better accuracy, but I wasn't... I didn't know for sure. During sleep, your attributes come... Uh, continue to work. Don't go to bed hungry or thirsty. Or you might not wake up. Oh my god, it's cold. I'm gonna have to buy that, like, that vest thing. 
One of these people sells like some kind of... Oh, look, look, I can drive here. I can drive here. I'll probably be warm when I'm in my vehicle, but man, if it runs out of gas, I'm gonna be hurting. Damn, this is a freaking frozen wasteland here. My goodness. What is this, Antarctica? Did I come to Antarctica? Welcome to Apocalypse is Coming. Welcome to Drive for Survival. Oh, look at that. All right. Now, this is an early access game, and they are working hard on it, but it is very early in development, so there's probably going to be some stuff that we will be getting in updates. That's what makes survival games awesome, though. Am I supposed to make that jump? No, there's, like, multiple jumps there. Okay. Let's get the hell away from this thing. All right, I am definitely freezing. Let's take a look. Uh, here we go. Yep, punishment is 35. So I don't think you lose hit points, but I think it's slowing me down. This is as fast as I can move. Maybe it is taking away hit points. No, it hasn't taken away hit points yet. All right, so we've got 628 zombie bucks. Let's see if we can buy uh, that shirt. I forget how much it is. I think this chick down here has some kind of shirt that will help keep me warm. Hello. Um, oh, okay, cool. Buy it. And equipped. There we go. Is that any better? I don't feel any faster. Does it take time or resist this negative 11? So that was 35% punishment before, and it's still 35% punishment. Interesting. Okay. All right, so that really didn't help much. As in, like, not at all. I'm not sure what else I can do to, to get warm yet, so we'll just have to see. Oh, what is this? Uh, daily quest, take any item. Hold F to get daily quest. Uh, hold F to get daily quest. Okay, neutralize the required number of enemies and collect any item. Okay. But I'm, I'm freaking slow here, man. All right, I'm not sure what's going on, but as far as I can tell, the only punishment for being cold is that I'm moving slower. I don't know, there might be another one, uh, so we'll just have to see. I'm going to sit in my car and see if that helps. Uh, I've also put in a message to the developer asking what else I can do. I'm sure there's more stuff I can do um, to deal with this coldness, but outside temperatures, negative 33 Celsius. Cold resist for equipment is five. <laughs> oh, brother. Okay. Well, let's sit in this bad boy. We do have a quest to sit in this, so... Repair the old watchtower. Uh, explore the world and find the old watchtower. Tip, according to uh, information you got, it'll be southwestern part of the map. Is there a map? <laughs> um, I don't know. Okay, so let's get out of this. I'm going to just look around here for a bit. See if there's anything to loot. These people probably have the same stuff that the other people had, but let's just check anyway. Yeah. Oh, hold on. A lamp. That's new. And... Okay, that's it. Is that, does that have gas in it? Oh, that is gas. Okay. So we can get gas if we need to. Alright, and that's just ammo. Man, I really want that crossbow. You have food. What was that? Wood. I could put wood in your fire. I'm not putting wood in your fire. Uh, okay, so there's a bunch of food there. I wonder if there's like some kind of hot food that can help warm you up. Oh! I'm moving fast again because... Uh, Oh, I wonder if the blizzard is over. Maybe maybe it'll be okay now. Oh, here we go. Winter lower. Yes. I don't have enough. Damn it. Okay. Well, we'll have to come back here and get some of this stuff for sure. I could probably get the shoes. Yeah, let's get the shoes. And I can't afford the hat. Okay, there we go. And it looks like it's sunny out now, so that's wonderful. Negative 27. I have a cold resist of 10. Um, bonus by the fire, perceived, uh, perceived temperature. Okay. What is this? Oh, uh, I could buy, oh, I should probably buy some crowbars. Yeah, definitely need some crowbars. Gasoline barrel. How many did I buy? How much do I have? How many crowbars? 16? Alright, and 17, 18, I should have 18 now. Yep, Okay. I can't. Oh, here we go. Crowbar into this sucker. Give me that ammo. I like having ammo, man. I like shooting guns. All right. 
Should we leave? Now, nah, let's do the quest. Let's do the quest. Repair the watchtower. It's um southern, southwestern part of the map. The hell is this, man? Someone just crashed into the back of my thing. What's going on back here? Oh! Whoa! Hold on now. Look at this thing. Repair car small. Where'd they go? There you are. You're bad guys, I know it. Oh boy, they're pissed now. Maybe they maybe they weren't bad guys. Oh, I wish I had my pistol. Okay. We got hit a couple times there. Got some ammo. And I don't think that guy dropped anything. Alright, engine 23%, damage 37%. It's not your car. Um, enter vehicle. Okay. Doesn't seem to be drivable. <laughs> okay. Is there any, did they keep anything in their trunk? No. Alright, so I guess we could have multiple kinds of cars. So that's pretty dope. Okay, F turned on the engine. Hey, is this... No, that's the helicopter. Alright, so we gotta go southwest. So that is this way. Can we drive off-road okay? I probably am gonna be in trouble here. Well, we'll see. Where's this watchtower? <laughs> Freaking bear. It's not that, right? No, that's not a watchtower. That's like a, a power lines. How far is this? Thing? Oh, question mark. I see the question mark. Okay, great. All right, yeah, the blue line is the gas, the gas gauge. So that is obviously of utter importance. Uh, can I run these guys over? Here, let's try. Here we go. I don't even know if they're good guys or bad guys. I think they're bad guys. They look like bad guys. Uh, damn it, jerks. Right, let's try again. This thing does not handle well in the snow and ice. Okay, I just ran over them. If they're not dead, then you can't run them over to kill them. I don't know if I want to get out of this thing now. With this uh, snow. But I really want to kill these guys. Okay. Let's get out. That one hit him. They don't know where I am. Alright, I'm not wasting any more ammo. Come at me, bro. Oop. There you go. Ho! Oh. Okay. Nailed him pretty good. Oh. Money, money, money! Money! What is this? A freaking... Dude, this is a nuclear bomb. Alright. I think I'm going where I'm supposed to be going. I'm guessing that question mark is the tower. I mean, it's not... Well, it's not really west. It's southwest. It says it's in the southern western part of the map. So, I don't know if that question mark is where I'm supposed to be going or not. So, guys, check this out. There's a freaking airdrop here. What What the hell? By the way, I got my car stuck. And I don't know if there's any way to unstick it. So, alright. Well, we got an airdrop, though. Uh, we got some ammo. Iron. A couple of little things. Cool. Nice airdrop there. Now I gotta figure out how to get this car off here. I might have to run back. God, it's gonna take me forever to run back if I have to. Dude, what the fuck, man? I just got rammed. I just got rammed, man. Look at these dicks. Come on, hold up, hold up. I'm dead. Wow. I I got out, I got unstuck, and then I was driving around a corner, and these oh whoa. Okay. What okay, I'm not really sure what's going on here. Okay, he's done. Can I pause? This is paused, right? I think it is. There we go. We just healed the hell out of ourselves. You're in trouble now, punk. Okay. I think I should stop aiming for the head and just make sure I get hits. Yeah, man. These guys are dicks. And the worst thing is they don't even have anything. Yeah. I got myself unstuck. If you get stuck like that, you hold in one direction and just gun it. Oh, wow. A lot of stuff there. Cool. I got a pistol now. That'll help with them because it seems a little easier to kill them with pistols. 
Yeah, you just hold in, like hold one direction and either go forward and you'll you'll eventually get unstuck. I also asked the developer if there's anything we could do about that. Um, because, yeah, we need some kind of unstuck option. Because who knows if I'll get out of it next time. I have no idea where this thing is. It said it was in the southwestern part portion of the map. But, I don't know, I'm not seeing it anywhere. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God, get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here. I don't know what's going on, but I'm getting out of here. Dude, dude, these houses are buried. This snow's like freaking 20 feet thick. Or, uh, deep. Holy crap. Oh, man. Freaking. It's nuts. Alright, guys. I forgot to do an outro for this video for some reason. I, I don't know. It happens. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna do an outro here while I'm editing the video. Uh, I just want to say, though, uh, where I keep, like, getting the number countdown thing, like, when I was fighting those guys and I thought I died, I didn't actually die. I fell asleep. Um, the little, uh, I don't remember what it was called, energy icon or whatever um the thing that like tells you you need sleep yeah basically i wasn't getting enough sleep and i kept passing out i don't think you would pass out in the middle of a gunfight but you know it, that's what happened um i actually never died so it's pretty crazy all right guys uh if you want to see more of this uh you know series make sure you uncage that like button also if you're new here please subscribe for more daily videos thank you very much for watching i'll see you next time and until then take it easy